I love how it is still light out and it's five o'clock. Oh shit. No. It's six o'clock, 20 to six. But I love this, like this is everything to me. I love how it's still light out. It makes me so happy. I just finished uploading my vlog. It was a little late today, but it is up. It took forever, it only failed like five times uploading it. If you guys know, you know the struggle of how annoying that could be. If you guys haven't seen that vlog, I'll link it here. I need to move my body and I do have a shit ton of work that needs to be done, but I just like need some movement in my life. I did go for a walk earlier this morning. I have to tell you guys a story. It's, you guys won't even believe it. Literally been on my mind ever since it happened. I feel so bad and it has consumed my mind all day because I can't stop thinking about it. Today I was driving home from the farm. I left at like 10 a.m. because I wanted to get home. I had tons of schoolwork I needed to do. I needed to upload the vlog. I had a ton of shit that I wanted to do. So I'm driving in the car and I end up hitting a coyote. Driving down the road and this coyote just dashes out in the middle of the street. And Will always told me like, don't slam on the brakes, don't swerve. Like that's the worst thing you can do. So I, I managed to slow down a little and I hit it. And I look back in my mirror and it's just lying in the middle of the road. And I call Will and I'm freaking out. I pull over and I'm like freaking out. I'm like, babe, you, like, you wouldn't believe it. I just hit a coyote. And he's like, well, is it still there? And I look back in the mirror and it was gone. And there was a car coming. So I had to like keep driving. That has been on my mind all day. Like the poor animal. Like I don't know if I killed it or not. So that was the first thing that happened to me with a car and then I'm driving home in Will's parents Jeep that they lent me when I'm driving from the city and I get into my parking garage and I realize that I don't have the fob to get into the garage because Will has it in his car and I'm like fuck there's no way I'm driving all the way back to the farm to get the fob so call Will again freaking out <laughs> poor guy god bless him um, I call him and he's just like, yeah, just go upstairs. Like Abdul will let you in. So Abdul, our security concierge comes down. The button's not working to open the garage. And at the same time, I'm like driving down. I hear this loud pop and I'm like, what the fuck? Did I just like crash or something? But I knew I didn't. And then the car just starts steaming. I'm not a very experienced driver. Like I just started driving a lot this past year, like I've had my license for a few years, but I've never owned a car and I've never really drove a lot. So this is all new to me. And my car starts smoking and then like a bunch of liquid is pouring out of my car. And I'm like, oh my God, what's happening? I turn the car off, but I'm right smack dab in the middle of like where all the traffic is. And I'm like, holy fuck. Abdul goes upstairs cause the fob's not working. Get Will on the phone and he's like, okay, don't worry, it's fine. You probably like, it's either your transmission or your cooling or something. Long story short, we found out it was like the cooling of the car and I had to drive it to the Jeep dealership. And the whole time all these buttons are going off, like change engine, do this, do that. And I'm freaking out, my anxiety's through the roof. <sighs> Anyways, safe to say the car is at the dealership. It's getting fixed. I don't know if that happened because of what happened earlier this morning or like bad things just happened in three. I have no idea. I had to tell you guys that. It's literally been on my mind all day. I'm like trying to do schoolwork and all I can think about is this poor coyote that I killed or maybe killed, I don't know. Literally cannot get it off my mind. That's my long, long story that probably didn't need to be shared. I feel like you guys are my friends, so. I called my mom and I called Will and I'm talking to you guys and sharing it with you guys. Anyways, long story, I'm gonna start working out. I'm gonna do a low impact workout so my back isn't heavily involved. Also, before I work out, I'm going to clean my Converse. I've actually never washed sneakers before, I don't think. But these Converse I wear all the time and they're still in really good shape. I'm not just gonna get a new pair because they're not white. I'm just gonna throw them in the wash and hope that it works. I don't have a, like a washing bag or anything. So I'm just gonna put them in there like that. It's gonna be really annoying, but you know, what can you do? Hopefully that works. I'm just gonna put it on gentle. 
or hand wash. back from grocery shopping don't worry I'm not gonna do the whole grocery haul yet again don't worry but I do want to share with you guys something that you guys have to try because they're so so good Will and I had them for the first time the other night and I just bought them again if you guys have a farm boy nearby you guys have to try the sausage stuffed portabella mushrooms they are so so good will and i had them pretty sure we had them on friday and they were just amazing bought them again i'm actually gonna cook them both now and i'll have one tomorrow and then one tonight i'm just gonna put away my groceries and i'm gonna make dinner i'm getting hungry <laughs> Let's see how these Converse turned out. Okay, so it definitely did not work. Maybe a little bit, but for the most part, I can't, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh well. I'm just gonna put them here so they can dry in the sun tomorrow. If you guys have any other tips on how to clean white shoes, let me know because I don't wanna have to buy like a brand new pair of like white Converse. I just feel like it's a waste of money. Let me know if you guys have any tips on how to get white sneakers back to being white. Alexa, open the blinds. Okay. I'm sitting in my chair <laughs> right in front of the window. The chair's here because yesterday I was like sunbathing. I'm just going to do my morning routine. I'll put you guys down. I'm gonna meditate, journal, you know. All that stuff. And for those of you who want to know, I just type into YouTube 10 minute morning meditation. I used to have a membership to a meditation platform, but when I fell off of my meditation, I canceled the membership because it wasn't cheap. I think it was like I don't remember, I think maybe like $20 a month or something. And I wasn't using it all the time, so I canceled it. And then I started getting back into meditation. And when I went to go use it again, they increased the prices to a higher price. I'm still putting it off. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, you know, rebuy, but I just type in on YouTube, 10 minute morning meditation, and I just kind of scroll through the ones that have the best views and do that. having breakfast right now i just have a bunch of grapes two they're kind of like soft boiled eggs i should have kept them on a little longer and one of my little protein balls energy balls i wanted to just come on here because i'm actually going to an appointment very soon i'm gonna make a whole video about this but i just kind of wanted to update you guys on what's going on you guys know I've always been super open about getting fillers and all that i've been getting fillers for years since i was 19 or 20 Yeah, I've been getting filler since I was 19 years old and I've had to dissolve my lips you guys know if you guys have been watching my recent vlogs You guys know that I recently got old lip filler removed because it had migrated and it was just old and like starting to look very pillowy and While I was there the injector told me that people should actually dissolve their filler every few years because it tends to migrate and 
get pillowy looking and there's you know without going too much into detail because I'm making a whole video about it I have realized that a lot of my filler has migrated see how this is like not defined I feel like my f cheek filler has migrated so the lower part of my face is just looking very pillowy with not much definition people get fillers to get to look more defined you know with time it just you know people think it dissolves but really it just migrates it does dissolve too but i'm gonna be getting some filler removed i'm gonna get the like a little bit of cheek filler here removed and a little up here because it's moved down I don't know how that's gonna go. I'm a little nervous. Um, I feel like fillers are kind of like my security blanket in a way. And if you girls know, if you girls have been getting fillers, you girls know what I mean. But I just feel like my face is starting to look very pillowy and I don't love it. That's what I'm doing today. Um, I just wanted to update you guys before I go there. I'm gonna ask if I can film her doing it now that I've gotten to know her a little bit. If you guys are more interested in the whole, like what you need to know about fillers before you get it, I'm gonna make a whole video on it and that will probably be up later so you guys will see it. Keep your eye out for it. But anyways, I'm just gonna eat my breakfast and then I gotta get ready to go. Hello. Okay, I just got back from my appointment. I am looking even fuller and more moony and pillowy than I did when I left. And that's because there's a lot of fluid in my face right now because of the hyaluronic acid. I don't even know how to say it. But the stuff that they put in your face to remove the filler. So in 48 hours, it should completely have its full effect on my face, which I'll update you guys in 48 hours of how I'm looking. It's weird because I kind of feel a little bit of anxiety but also empowered at the same time because face fillers to me have kind of been like a kind of like a comfort thing like a security blanket and I don't know I'm just happy to kind of see it go down and like get more defined features as I said I'm making a whole video on it so you guys will have to watch and see everything I talk about when it comes to that. I'm just making some lunch. I picked up um, a little treat for Jackie for her birthday. I also picked up myself a donut as well. And I'm gonna eat my lunch and then I think I'm gonna head over to my parents kind of early um, just so I can hang out with my nephew for a little bit. I'll update you guys in a bit. He looks quite comfortable here. He is comfortable. He loves his auntie. Mm. You, you love the auntie? Don't you? My little cutie pie. Look at him. He's just so perfect in every single way. Look at my little guy. Am I hanging out with auntie? <laughs> so, I'm over at my parents. I'm looking a hot mess because I've been wearing this mask for hours. But, one of the reasons why I came here was because I was going to drop off the donuts at Jackie's house. Dad, what did you do? I ate a donut, I'm sorry. He got into the donuts. So, Jackie, if you're watching this. <sighs> Either way. He Thank wasn't you. lying. Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> You're, aren't you diabetic? It's your, it was your birthday, happy birthday, but it was my 65th. <laughs> so Merry Christmas. Oh my God. Okay, so I just got the flowers and now I'm going to head to Jackie's house. I literally cannot believe my, my dad ate one of the fucking donuts. He would. I literally, honest to God, manifested it because I, I just knew he was going to be doing that. I just, I just knew. Anyways, I'm on my way. Bye. <laughs> I guess I should update you guys. I just got home not too long ago from my parents. I saw my friend Jackie 
I think I got a clip of it pretty sure but it is 8 30 i'm so tired the whole time change really like made me really tired i think i'm going to continue vlogging tomorrow actually i'll update you guys on how i look right now i don't think you can really tell maybe a little but i am getting a bruise there this side is still more fuller so i might have to go back and dissolve more on this side but the one thing i just don't like is when i smile kind of uneven so I'll probably have to go back and dissolve more that's what she said she said I probably need two sessions to dissolve all of it but yeah um honestly like I feel really insecure for whatever reason I don't feel pretty even though I know that's just like it's silly for me to say I don't know I just feel not that pretty right now it could be because it's swollen and stuff so I'll see in a few days but just wanted to update you guys be real with you guys on how I'm feeling about it all Bye.